I'm with Anita Bernstein here at the Best Western. You're going to talk a little bit about voice and some of the things that you do and are hoping to accomplish here in Ontario. Um, the area that I oversee for the voice organization is the training program for teachers of the deaf mm -hmm. that are now in the mainstream setting and came through training a few years ago before we had so many children learning to listen and speak. And so the Ministry of Education um, recognized the need to upgrade the skills and enhance the services within the school system and gave voice a uh, grant to do exactly that. And so rather than taking the teachers out for training, our mentors actually go into the school boards and help the teachers of the deaf to increase their skill set in providing services for children that are using cochlear implants or digital hearing aids and are learning to listen and speak in the regular classrooms. Um, and we help them with their own caseload. So we're not taking them out and, and talking about theory with them. We're actually helping them. Hands on. Hands on right in their school setting. So until now, we had um, funding for four pilot boards and 19 school boards. So we've completed the training in 23 school boards. We have about 15 of the teachers that we've trained have become certified in this approach. And um, we had at one time been told that we would have continued funding to be able to train in all 72 boards across Ontario. But unfortunately, right now, that funding has been frozen and so at this point we're not sure whether we in fact are going to be able to continue the training. How important is this training and how important is the results of the training with children with these issues? Um, what we're looking for with our students is to ensure that they're able to keep up with their peers within their classroom setting. And so part of this training program also was looking at student outcome. So if we train the teachers in this approach, are we actually increasing the ability of these children to perform within their academic settings? Um, the, although we haven't completed the outcome study, it's in process. What we are seeing is um, deaf and hard of hearing children children who are being supported by these teachers are making year-over-year -year progress and are able to keep up with the students within their classroom setting. So they don't have to be taught separately, they're in the main they're stream the of, main of courses. They're in the main class, that's right, and they're keeping up with their age-appropriate or grade-appropriate uh, peers. Alright, thank you very much.